This village is boring, dull, and disgusting. So let's transform this entire village starting with this hut here. Now with Halloween coming up, I thought we should stick with a Halloween themed village. And as we go through this episode, you will see these builds become bigger and better than this. Uh, look at that, look at this. Whoa. Now there are five small huts that we need to transform here. So for the second one, I'm gonna do an abandoned theme house, but to start this, we're gonna need blackstone, spruce, warp logs, this grass, gravel, andesite stone, pumpkins. Okay, look, we needed a lot. And to save you hours of grinding, here it all is. Now let's destroy this hut. There we go. Now let's start building this new hut. First, we're gonna build the face of the hut, then the outline of the base, and add some detailing to the roof to spice it up a bit. And here is the final outline of the build. But this looks plain. So let's add a chimney, some lanterns, a little pumpkin farm on the side, and some leaves that have the house look infested. And this is the final result of the build. But this is only two out of five huts that we need to transform. So for the next hut, let's go for something different. But this is gonna require a lot of pumpkins that I don't have. So I guess we're making a pumpkin farm? And that's the farm done. Now, I'm gonna AFK for an hour and we should get enough pumpkins. It's been an hour and... Oh my god, this will definitely be enough. Now that we have enough pumpkins for this build and the later builds, we can start working on this. Now, from the sheer amount of pumpkins we have, I think you can guess what I'm kind of going for here. What have I done? What the f*** have I done? <laughs> yeah, let's make this more like a pumpkin. Now this is a lot better. <laughs> now let's add some leaves to the top and some eyes on the pumpkins. And lastly, some glass all around. And that's the third hut done. And for the last two, we're gonna speed run as I would've moved on to the bigger builds. And for this one, I'm just gonna build a normal house with a Halloween touch. Okay, and that is the fourth one finished. Now onto the fifth one. Okay, that is this little build done. Now, first of all, when you look down, there is a lot of water patches around here everywhere, which I don't want, because this looks rank. So let's get rid of the water and the paths. And I'll be right back. Whoa, okay. Now that looks a lot better. <laughs> oh, this took me so long. Now that we have done all the small builds, it's time to start getting bigger. Now, I already have planned out what we're going to build, and each build is going to be entitled to the best villager jobs. So let's start with the farmer villager. But if he's going to supply the whole village, then he's going to need a lot of supplies. Okay, okay, this is definitely going in the right direction. But if there's one thing I've learned whilst transforming this village is that detail in the builds make it pop. So let's add some to the pillars. Yes, that looks a bit better. <laughs> now let's fill the spaces with terracotta. And oh, you've got to be kidding me. Okay, and now we can finish this barn. This looks so cool, oh my god. We have a water well here with acid, because I mean, it looks cool, come on. Here is all the pumpkins they are hoarding, and the farm outside. And we're slowly building our way to the end, and I don't even want to know how insane it's going to get later. Now, a village without a symbol of some kind just isn't a village. So, let's make a clock tower. And whilst coming up with ideas, I saw this cool gradient palette like this. Yeah, this is definitely going to work. Now, if we add the clock into the tower, we should have this. And to add that Halloween spice, we're gonna have a pumpkin on top of it. Oh my god, this is definitely going together. Look at this. But let's add some cogwheels in the middle to make it look a bit broken. Ugh. And finally, add some chains to make it all connect together. How did we get in here? And that is the clock tower done. And it's personally one of my favorite builds so far. Now moving towards the cleric villager hunt. And for this build, I wanted to have a normal hut, but using this crimson wood, it should make it a bit more witchy. And to make this more magical, let's add a massive potion bottle to the side of the house. 
that right? I like this. Dude, this looks sick. But you see this big space here? Yeah, this has to go. Well, transformed. I'm going to stick with the church theme, but I'm going to make it a bit more spooky. have some meaning into the church i'm gonna add a coffin in the middle to kind of act like a shrine which else do i have any hold on if i remember correctly from my last video it should be a library here oh yeah now we have plenty now if we put these lecterns like this it'll look like an open coffin oh my god this is sick but let's add some details and the windows to finally get this done but I have an issue, this build isn't done until I get mob heads. And lucky for us, I was lucky enough to get a trident whilst working on my next video. I actually dropped a f***ing trident. And when I got the enchantments I needed, we just needed to wait for it to rain. But let's continue transforming this village. But the difference from the beginning to now is crazy. But it's only going to get even better as we carry on. And there's a big empty patch here that desperately needs upgrading. So let's make an observatory for the cartographer because, you know, maps and stuff. It's raining. Okay, uh, guys, we need to hold off this. So, oh, that's a charge creeper right there. Hey! Did it do it? He did it! No way! I'm gonna scale. I'm gonna creeper. <sighs> oh my god, he killed it! What the? F Wait, I got I got a disc from that. What the hell? You know what, I would say that was successful. But we'll worry about these later, because we still have an observatory to build. Okay, you know what, it may look really bad. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I promise when we add this thing and like the detail, it will look better, I, I really hope so. <laughs> Okay, this is definitely looking better than what it looked like before. But let's add some final details to this build to add that little spice to it. And that is that finished. Now we can finally work on the big build. What the f*** is going on here? <laughs> Villager beef going on here, dude. I swear to God. Oh, shit. Oh. Okay, okay, I I'll leave. <laughs> and seeing as the librarian is the most important villager, I thought it makes sense that he has the best build. Yeah, I'm loving this design. So let's work on the interior by having the second floor done and changing the floor to dark oak flooring. Let's also build a stand. And add all the bookshelves to finish this last build. Okay, and that is the library done. And this is what the entrance looks like. And when you go in there, it's just an abundant amount of books. But wait, there's just this massive space here with nothing. Um, I don't know where I've gone with this. I've kind of wanted to fill an empty space with you. I'm not even going to lie to you. <laughs> there's one thing missing, though. There's, like, nothing protecting this village at all. <laughs> so let's start building a wall around to ensure no mobs can disturb this village. <laughs> like that that looks sick oh my god <laughs> there's also this big space here and well i want to make an acid pool here with this sort of effect now let's put some torches on the bottom and i'm going to let this cactus grow to get the green dye we need but let's add some dead trees around this village let's also add some pathways to really make this village come to life now let's also add some tombs that can be scattered around everywhere Then let's finally put some of the mob pebs to use on these tombs. Yes, I went through all of that for this. <laughs> oh, fuck, man. oh my god, wait. I forgot to add interior to these small builds. Oh my god. I also saw this effect as well going around where you can add ghosts around the church for this effect. That looks sick. I just don't have enough cactus for this, bro. Um, let me think of something real quick. 
Yeah, this should do. Um, let's AFK for an hour and see what we get. Hell nah, but this will definitely do the job though. So let's AFK for an hour and finish this build. I'm praying we have enough. Oh, you know what? I think that will do. That will do, I think. Here we go, everyone. The lot, the last block of this build. Oh my god. Let's go! Dude, this is completely different to what we had before. Oh, dude, the difference between this and the normal village that we had before is just crazy to me, man. This took me so long.